To write the formula for zinc phosphate, we go to the periodic table and we look up zinc, that has an element symbol of Zn, and then phosphate, that's not on the periodic table, it ends in ATE. This is a polyatomic ion, and you should either have this memorized, or you could look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. When you look it up, it's PO4, 3 minus. Zinc's a metal, it's a transition metal, and then the phosphate, that's made up of nonmetals. We have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound, and we need to consider the charges. Zinc is a transition metal, but it's a bit of an exception. It always has a 2 plus ionic charge. The phosphate, we said, is 3 minus. So these do not add up to zero. We don't have a net charge of zero. So we need to change the subscripts here to make that happen. We'll use something called the crisscross method. We'll move the 3 over here and the 2 over here. Get rid of these. And then we do need to put parentheses around the phosphate because this is a polyatomic ion and we have two of them. So we'll put parentheses around the phosphate. And this is the formula for zinc phosphate. Let's check our work though. We said zinc is a two plus, it's always a two plus. The phosphate, that's a three minus. We have two of these phosphates, each one's three minus, two times three minus, that gives us a six minus. Three of these zincs, three times two plus, that's a six plus. So six plus, six minus, that adds up to zero. This is the correct formula for zinc phosphate. Let's clean this up. And that's it, zinc phosphate, Zn3PO42. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.